partners in problem solving is something that I coined for my team because I really wanted to drive the concept that we are fully leveraging our analytical capabilities, our analytical toolbox to understand the challenges, the questions they're trying to answer, and that we are providing the right tools to help them answer those questions. Analytical R&D fits the entire pipeline throughout the development process. The analytical data and the methods that we develop are essential for a deep scientific understanding across that entire process and really allows us to do the best science. Because we are operating across that entire continuum, we get to see that variety all the way from where it starts. We are partnering starting with discovery on generating analytical data that allows us to understand the characteristics of the new molecular entities that have the potential to become our next medicines and vaccines. We then look at the methods we're developing. We work to understand the suitability and the robustness before we transfer them into our commercial environment, into our quality control laboratories to support sustained supply of those products for our patients. As we get into later stages, we're also supporting work with our commercial partners for manufacturing, as well as contributing to regulatory filings and interactions with the health agencies to provide the necessary data. Everything we do has a quality mindset. So we do quality by design. We think about why we're testing what we're testing. We think about how we need to test our molecules. We think about what methods we should be using to interrogate them and to evaluate our products. We are a modality agnostic department. Our core mission is really to bring forward medicines. In other words, if we come up with a tool that we're able to deploy that tool to be able to test and assess the quality of a medicine, whether it's small molecules or biologics. I think the molecules we're working on are more complicated than ever, which means that our analytical techniques also need to get better, and we need to drive innovation. MRL has a very rich tradition in vaccines that I really want to contribute to. AR&D develops the methods that are going to evaluate if the vaccine product is of the highest purity, of the highest quality, and how it works to characterize it. All of those things are really important. Biologics not only has grown in a number of molecules, but in the diversity in how we are supporting these, I think is where analytical research and development comes in because, you know, as the modalities have expanded in the molecular complexity, so has our department. I often talk about the fact that we are the eyes into our processes and products. We help the teams understand how the molecules are going to behave, how the processes are going to perform, how we can optimize those processes. So it all has to go hand in hand. And you couple that with advances in automation, speed at which we're generating data. We're using multi-well plate technologies. We're using microfluidics. We are using digital approaches to help us manage the volume of data that we are generating. We are able to take that data and be more predictive. And all of that together just puts us in a very different position to really tackle tackle challenges on a pipeline that has diversified so much. Our pipeline has grown substantially, exponentially. I would say in the last five years, and the ability to use our analytical tools collectively across all of that is really enabling.